a lot of what you're seeing on social media is the new Atlanta. Um, yeah, it's very different. Stay safe, watch your surroundings, and uh, take care of yourself. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing the best, truly good spots to dine, visit, to stay in in terms of hotels, I'm gonna be giving you your ultimate guide to Atlanta. So if you guys would like to know what my top picks are for everything fun and exciting and also delicious, please keep watching. Okay, so I decided to do this video. I made one many years ago, but then I ended up privating it. I get asked probably a few times a month, what are the best restaurants to visit when people are coming to Atlanta? And I really wanted to make this video as someone who was not born here, but who was raised here for over 99% of my life. This is the old Atlanta list. I want to make the proper distinction because a lot of people who are doing these lists, baby, they're new Atlanta, they are transplants, they've moved here. I'm giving you the best of the best. All these restaurants and places are not just in downtown or Buckhead, they are spread out. This is the real Atlanta list, okay? So if you guys would like to know what my top picks are, then please keep watching. So I also want to say, I am not a fan of super popular Instagram worthy places. I think that social media has definitely, it's definitely influenced marketing a lot. And I will be the first to say I have gone to plenty of restaurants in the city and the outskirts that are merely, they're all about social media. <coughs> They want to get you in the door with the aesthetics because the girls live for a good aesthetic. And while we love everything pretty, beautiful, and fun, get me in the door from your Instagram, but your service and the food and the entire experience overall is what will keep me coming back and will also keep you from getting talked about on my Instagram. Okay, so I'm gonna be sharing my top five and then down below you will find all of my favorite places. So be sure to check the description box. I really wanted to make this video as a resource because I keep a list in my phone and anytime someone reaches out I'm like here you go here's your ticket to the city so my first pick is going to be Le Colonial now Le Colonial is your perfect mix of luxe upscale beautiful and delicious it is a Vietnamese fusion restaurant they have a few locations around the country I've been to two and they are always top-notch the service is amazing the ambiance is amazing and the food is as well I was not previously a Vietnamese lover but every single dish I have tried there is amazing now it is a pricier restaurant so just keep that in mind but it's beautiful the food is amazing anytime someone's in town and they want the ultimate in culinary experiences I always take them there you can't go wrong they have a bar they do takeout it it's just amazing some of my favorites would be the banh mi sandwich for lunch shaking beef is it the seared salmon my friend also loves the um the red snapper it's like an entire red snapper the garlic noodles the uh tuna tartare appetizer they it's just amazing like an amazing culinary experience they have the best lychee martini in all of Atlanta really really great I also really love ethnic food so you're going to find lots of ethnic foods on this list so that is Lake Colonial it is in Buckhead the shops at Buckhead or Buckhead Village District whatever you would like to call it a plus experience always my next restaurant is going to be your southern delicacy this is going to be what you come to the south for and it's soul food now i will preface this by saying i'm not a soul food uh I'm, I don't consume soul food, okay? I'm not a fan of it, but I do know good food. I also like to cook. So one of the restaurants that I love most is South City Kitchen. Now the first location is in Midtown, um, Crescent Avenue maybe. And there's also a newer, I don't know how new, <laughs> location in Buckhead. South City Kitchen is going to be your staple soul food. Everything on the menu is delicious. Even when you get it for takeout, it's amazing. This is another one of those restaurants that I always recommend to family and friends when they're in the area and it's always a hit now I am also leaving down below some restaurants that are more of your hole-in-the-wall places now this is Atlanta this is the south 
This is the old Atlanta list. So you better believe that Busy Bee is on that list. I will tell you one thing about Atlanta. The new Atlanta is different, baby. But the old Atlanta, you're going to be eating at whole in the wall restaurants. And it's okay because that's where some of the best food is. But definitely South City Kitchen. I've been going there since I was a child. The food is amazing. There's nothing I like in particular because it's not my type of food per se. But it's always delicious and you cannot go wrong. Okay, my next restaurant is going to be probably the most popping place on the list. Devon, Devon, not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but it is a Persian restaurant. It's beautiful. They have a rooftop. You can smoke hookah. I used to love going to um, that hookah restaurant on Juniper. I can't, Siva's. Siva's is like that hole in the wall place, although it's not a hole in the wall. Siva's is like the, we're just gonna wear sneakers and bodysuits. Well, Devon is like, we can wear that also, but we're gonna get dressed up. It's a more beautiful ambiance, a little older vibe, and it's just great food. It's Persian food. My favorite would be the salmon and Alfredo pasta. It's so good. Uh, everything I've had there is amazing though. The appetizers, the sides, everything like that. Their hookah is nice, their drinks are great. They have a rooftop views of the city. It's just beautiful. It's a more low key place and that's what I prefer. You're not gonna find any clubs on this list because I'm too old for that, but I love a good chill restaurant. I don't even think they play music there. Sivas, they do. So Devon is definitely like a more upscale adult <laughs> establishment. The food is great, the atmosphere is amazing as well. You can't go wrong. Okay, let's talk breakfast. Another category that I don't tend to eat very often. Y'all, there's just something about waking up and eating or drinking, I just can't do it. But I want to talk about a black owned business, Gosha's Breakfast Bar. Now she has two locations. One is in the Cascade area, which is on the west side of Atlanta. And the other is in Fayetteville, which is like southeast of the city. Both locations are amazing. The food is so great. Everything I have had there has been so flavorful. I didn't know much about Gaucher. Is it Gaucher or Gaucher? It might be Gaucher. <laughs> I didn't know much about her. Uh, I've always seen her around town with Candy. I knew that they were friends. I do also think she owned a hair salon, but I didn't know that she went to culinary school. Well, you can tell from eating in her restaurant, I will say to make a reservation because it gets very, very crowded, but also go on an off peak day, just do yourself, <laughs> do yourself a favor and go on a day when it's not going to be as crowded. Everything but the mimosas, <laughs> amazing. Um, it's not a place that I would go to just like have amazing craft cocktails, but the food is amazing. Southern specialties, everything from salmon croquette, shrimp and grits, their sandwiches, everything is just so good, so flavorful without being too salty or anything like that because that's oftentimes like a problem <laughs> with some restaurants, but everything from Gaucher's breakfast bar was amazing. So definitely check that out. It's a black owned business here in Atlanta and and it's delicious. Next, let's talk barbecue. <laughs> Once again, I'm not a huge barbecue eater because I'm very picky about my barbecue, but I would have to say my favorite in the city is definitely Fox Brothers Barbecue, and I believe it's on maybe DeKalb Avenue. I went there once and fell in love. It's always crowded. You're going to have to wait, but the food is delicious. It reminds me of Texas barbecue. Oh my gosh, the brisket, the potato salad, the stuff. Just everything. If you want amazing barbecue, definitely check out Fox Brothers. I also like Fat Matt's Rib Shack. Um, I think that's over in the Virginia Highlands area. That's amazing as well. But those are my two favorites. You cannot go wrong with Fox Brothers barbecue. It's delicious. Like definitely my favorite in the city, hands down. Now y'all know I couldn't do a video without talking about my favorite Atlanta delicacy. Hot wings, of course. Like, you cannot come to Atlanta without getting wings. You can't get them from a grocery store. Don't get them from a restaurant. Go to American Deli. 
I didn't find out about American Deli until I was in college. Shout out to the AUC. And to this day, when I go to the American Deli near the Kroger in West End, hopefully it's still there, I still see the same woman who worked there. American Deli is top notch, okay? So everyone's gonna tell you to get hot lemon pepper sprinkle. That's too salty. I don't do a lot of salt. So I just get traditional hot. Now I'm not that person that needs them. Just don't make them too big, okay? If you, you don't like big wings, American Deli is perfect for you. Their fries, you have to get a peach drink. Now, whether or not you want to get lemon pepper sprinkle is up to you, but the best wings, absolutely. And, you know, they might not be the best wings in all of the city, but they're always consistent. There are locations all around the city and in the suburbs. You can't go wrong. They also have amazing Philly cheesesteaks. I only eat their chicken Philly. It's amazing. Now, I'm not a fan of their fried rice but like I'm part Asian so I feel like Asians should make fried rice but if you're coming for wings if you're not going to a strip club because they also have great food get them from American Deli side note strip clubs in Atlanta have amazing food so even if you don't want to go for the entertainment go for the food it's top tier Okay, and the last restaurant that I'm gonna talk about is of course Asian. This is Osha Thai and Sushi Galleria. I went there a few months ago with a friend. It was our first time going and it was amazing. The ambiance, it's very cute, it's very Instagrammable, but the food is amazing. The service was as well. They validate parking, everything. It's in Buckhead and the food was just delicious. The beverages, the adult beverages, they have Thai and they have Japanese cuisines. Everything was so good. I think we need to go back soon. But yes, that's one of my favorite Asian restaurants. But don't forget, I'll have all of my favorites in the Asian cuisine down below. So I hope this video was informative for you all. Check the description box for a list of probably 40 restaurants. I'll have them listed by cuisine. I will also put some of my top picks for hotels. I will also put some of my least favorite places that I have been very vocal about online. I'm always here to give it to you all real. All the places that I'm recommending, I've had an amazing experience at. I can't speak for anyone else, but these are the places that I would recommend. They're not just pretty. They might be pretty, but they also have amazing food and the experience was amazing as well. So let me know down below if any of these are your favorites. I hope this video is a great resource to you all. I just really wanted to have something for you all to refer back to when you come visit this beautiful city. And most importantly, when you come to Atlanta, please be safe. Atlanta is not, like I said, there, there's an old Atlanta and there's a new Atlanta. You have your Grady babies, that's old Atlanta. And then you have your new Atlanta and those are the people who come from everywhere. And a lot of what you're seeing on social media is the new Atlanta. Um, yeah, it's very different. Stay safe, watch your surroundings, and uh, take care of yourself. I love you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.